so you want to learn machine learning or you are already doing it or maybe you are not sure if you should learn it because you think you are not the best when it comes to math so you are scrounging the internet to figure out if you need math in order to learn deep learning or machine learning well i'm here to tell you that you absolutely don't need math to get into deep learning also the previous sentence was a Wait, lie what you do need math the question is what parts of math do you need before you get all tense about all this because some guy on the internet just told you that you need math relax calm down mathematics is a good friend you all know what it has helped us achieve through our history with a little practice you can conquer mathematical concepts and become a math wizard then a machine learning wizard and finally an artificial intelligence wizard and then i am inevitable oh sorry not that and then iron man or you decide who the point is nobody is born smart we all start at zero there was a time when einstein couldn't count to 10 and shakespeare had to learn his abc's just like the rest of us thankfully the most complex concepts in the whole universe are built on basic ideas that anyone anywhere can understand so to learn anything you just need to invest some time learning it rather than just doing google searches for machine learning you do need math there is no way around it it is an intrinsic part of the field and every recruiter or experienced machine learning professional will vouch for this but you don't need all of it so what kind of math do you really need first is linear algebra this is one part of mathematics that you absolutely need to be familiar with If you only want to be a deep learning practitioner and not a researcher, you still need linear algebra. Why? Because almost all your data will be in the form of multi-dimensional matrices. A lot of the magic that you will be doing using your code will require you to understand the operations on such matrices. This is absolutely something you should learn. Calculus plays an integral role in many machine learning algorithms like in the gradient descent algorithm and back propagation to train deep neural networks. The knowledge of calculus helps in the optimization of the model's performance. This one is not absolutely necessary if you just want to create some fun projects in deep learning. But if you want to go deeper and understand how things work or if you want to get into some research then you will need this tool in your tool belt. Statistics is used to draw logical conclusions from the given data. It helps to understand the data insights and transform the sample observations into meaningful information. No system in the world has perfect data stored and readily available as needed. Every system has data anomalies like incomplete, corrupted data, etc. Statistical concepts will be your best friend to help in such complex situations. Since you will be dealing with a lot of data and you will also need to manipulate, understand and visualize that data, you will need statistics. Probability helps in predicting the likelihood of future events in machine learning. If you go into some serious applications, then you will also need probability because with any kind of deep learning, you will be dealing with probabilities. Serious applications such as self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, etc. will require you to work with probabilistic models but for some lightweight deep learning you won't need much of this and this is pretty much all you need in terms of math if you just want to play around with deep learning and do some lightweight projects for fun then you will be fine with just some familiarity with these concepts but if you want to go into full research mode then you will need to be quite well versed with these things Also the amazing thing about it is that there are so many online resources and I have linked a few of my favorites in the description so check them out if you want